Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, if you're new here, uh, please do feel welcome. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, I am so grateful for you coming back to view uh, one more uh, video. Uh, on today's video, I will just dive in. I will be doing a cleaning motivational vlog. Uh, this one is a pre-Christmas uh, cleaning routine I will uh, be doing a weekend cleaning routine that I usually do uh, at the end of a hard week and uh, I usually start with laundry and then I do the dishes and I do the floors in the kitchen and then I finish off with the bathroom and the toilet uh, on this video I am concentrating on doing the a little bit of laundry and i will also do the dishes wash the kitchen floors and the pantry as well as the bathroom i will not be doing the toilet uh, i have already done a video on cleaning how i do clean my toilets so uh, if you're interested in that one you can click on my other videos and then uh, you can see how i do my toilets uh, with the laundry, I usually start with my whites or the bright colored clothes. At the moment, I am using uh, some three-in-one uh, pods, uh, which I just started using recently. But I might go back to washing with um, just washing powder. Uh, so that remains to be seen. Uh, after my laundry, I usually uh, tackle my dishes. Usually this is the morning dishes after breakfast. Uh, the good thing is I changed when I did uh, the D our DIY project for our kitchen renovation. Uh, I did change my sink. And as you can see, it's quite a big sink now. And I usually uh, I'm able to soak quite a lot of dishes in before I can do my washing i also did change my tap which has a shower effect and you will see later when i will be rinsing the dishes i can use that when the dishes are already in the racking and that way it uh, enables enables me to uh, not only rinse without having to uh, put everything back into the sink but also in another sense i am able to save water because you will see the water that i use uh, for rinsing i will also use later for wiping the surfaces and that way is a way to be env environmentally uh, friendly when it comes to using less energy and and less water uh, another thing also we, when we did the renovation is we have left a place for the dishwasher which i will be buying very soon and as soon as that is in i will be sharing that with you as well uh, so i hope you will enjoy this one
Uh, with the dishes done, I usually do uh, clean the surfaces and that includes the cooker and I also do clean the tiles as well. And uh, since we do a lot of baking and uh, roasting on our oven, uh, I will not be showing you how I do my <coughs> cleaning, but uh, one of these days I will show you how I actually clean inside of my oven, which uh, sometimes can be quite messy. And one thing we did improve when we did the renovation as well is, as you can see, there is a black um, stripe between the cooker and the counter top. Uh, that one helps to ensure that when you're cooking, nothing is dropping off between the gaps. And that is a silicone cover that you can buy online. We bought it from Amazon and um, I wasn't very sure when uh, my husband uh, mentioned about it, but I just let him go with it. And uh, I can see how helpful it's been to just have something which prevents uh, small uh, food uh, dropping uh, between the gaps. I also do do uh, clean my bread bean and the toaster once a week uh, because that's where a lot of crumbing uh, tends to remain uh, from the um, leftover bread. I also try as much as possible to clean my oven uh, inside the oven at least once a month. Uh, so in this uh, cleaning uh, video, I am not going to do that. I will uh, make a point to do a video where I will be showing you how I actually do clean the inside of my oven. Uh, cleaning for me is something that comes naturally. I love to do uh, to clean. I love to see a nice and neat home. And uh, for me, cleaning is something which is more of uh, a therapeutic and relaxing way of spending my weekends. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, that surface uh, where I am removing uh, those uh, hidden bits is where we are going to be putting our dishwasher. And uh, so uh, one, that is one of the things that is getting me so excited because um, it's not like I don't like washing the dishes, but is also I am looking for ways to uh, reduce our energy usage, usage and uh, having a dishwasher is one of those things that not only are we going to uh, reduce our energy use and our water usage as well but also it means uh, we will be doing the dishes less and, st and uh, having a little bit more time for the family and for doing other activities than standing on the sink maybe three or four times uh, in one day. Uh, with the kitchen done, uh, now we are going
going to do the bathroom and uh, just as we did the renovation in the kitchen we also did the renovation in the bathroom uh if you would uh yeah um i would also recommend that you watch our bathroom renovation as well as our kitchen renovation and the pantry as well those are the three areas that we tackled this year and i'm so proud of how the whole renovation projects has stand out we are amateur um when it we were amateurs when it came to renovation my husband uh, does a little bit of of uh, diy himself it's something that he loves doing but especially outside in the garden but uh, translating those skills from the ha from the garden uh, to the house was not very hard but it was still uh, slow and painstaking especially for him and for me also the patience of waiting to see the finished product sometimes uh, was really really running uh, low but anyway as you can see the job has been done everything is all nice nicely done we are now living in a, a more or less uh, finished house and uh, the results speaks for themselves uh in the bathroom i usually tend to use an old um, toothbrush i usually use it to scrape out those uh, places where uh, a normal brush cannot be able to reach or reach properly so uh, like in the middle or in the gaps between the taps and like the tub handle those places where the normal brush cannot come or pass through i usually tend to use an old toothbrush so these are things that you can um think of of just using rather than just discarding and uh, to upgrade it and use them to do things like just washing or cleaning your bathroom or even your toilets
so the house is now uh, nice and done the kitchen floors are done the counter the sinks all the dishes are already uh, put away in the drawers and the cupboards and uh, the kitchen is now ready to face another hard week of um, preparing family meals uh, this is the last video uh, before Christmas and uh, this was actually a pre-Christmas uh, cleaning motivational vlog that I wanted to share with you and uh, in the next week we are going to be doing all the baking all the Christmas uh, roasting of potatoes and uh, we usually do goose rather than turkey uh, but also we are going to have a kind of an alternative uh, Christmas this year uh, because of something that has happened in the family uh, otherwise as you can see everything is neat everything is where it's supposed to be I am happy with the results as I always I am and uh, I do hope uh, you've enjoyed this video and I love sharing with you how I do my little things and uh, for me as I said before cleaning for me uh, comes naturally and uh, is something which if you try and uh, with the right attitude not thinking it as part of housework but something that you can do and enjoy you will find that the results can be amazing uh, I will um, say uh, thank you very much for uh, stopping by and uh, keep supporting me and growing this uh, channel because I really do appreciate each and every one of you who comes and stops by and spends time with me uh, watching commenting um, leaving a thumbs up or even uh, subscribing and becoming part of this YouTube journey with me I did start this YouTube journey last year uh, simply almost by accident uh, by a diagnosis that I got of a cancer which turned out not to be but it gave me a reason uh, for me to actually do what I love and also share with people. Uh, it may not be much, but it is something that uh, gives me a reason to wake up each morning, not only to do housework, but also to just uh, serve my family uh, and uh, serve God through uh, just serving uh, the people that I love and... Uh, sharing even my life experiences with people out there so yeah i do appreciate each one of you and i thank you for stopping by and uh, i do hope to see you in the next one so for now i will say thank you and i hope to see you in the next one